The world's ecosystems provide so many valuable services to humans. The trouble is, our actions harm those ecosystems. We are asking the question, how can we build resilience in ecosystems? To know that, we have to know how resilience works in ecosystems. And we are specifically interested in how connectivity among different components of ecosystems affects resilience. So ecological resilience theory is about the ability of an ecosystem to be able to resist or recover from an impact without changing its structure or its function. One of the most important ways that coastal ecosystems resist impact is by using feedback processes which are inherent and an important part of the ecosystem. One of the key feedback processes in seagrass ecosystems, for example, uh, is their ability to bind or trap the sediments uh, in around their rhizomes and their roots. And that stops the sediments from being resuspended back into the water column, so it improves the light available for their growth. Mobile organisms like fish play key roles in maintaining the functioning of ecosystems. Two important examples include predation and herbivory. Fish, like other mobile organisms, move among habitats in the seascape and in doing so they link important processes like herbivory in space and time across coastal ecosystems. So by doing experiments and using network analysis, it's possible to focus on certain interactions and processes and better understand connectivity and resilience in ecosystems.